Back to the Future, Part 2, Movie Review. After a recast, Jennifer is brought to 2015 for no reason at all. Doc and Marty go back to 1955 in order to fix an alternate 1985, which is memorably dark and kind of cool, but I can understand why you wouldn't want to live there. Biff is once again the bad guy, and he's deliciously arrogant yet again. This film basically happens at about the same time as the first film. What it does is wrap a new story around the first one, and not in a way where it retcons anything, but that it adds another layer. So you're seeing two pairs of Doc and Marty in 1955 in two individual ways trying to fix the future, or 1985, which was the present back then, but anyway. It's really the kind of sequel that just really delivers what you'd expect. It does have some of, you know, bigger is better going on, but it actually kind of works out because when it goes bigger, it just really works. It's it's fun to watch. The the future the futuristic 2015 is a lot of fun. We don't spend a lot of time there, but it is, like with the alternate 1985, quite memorable. In the 1955 setting, we have a lot more excitement, really, than the first time. I would say the first made me laugh more. This one just really had me on the edge of my seat. More so than the first. And the climax is again quite tense. It's a lot like the first. It's in a way fan service to, you know, to the first. But there's not really a problem there because the people watching the second one, the reason there is a second movie at all is because people love the first one. So if you love the first one and then you watch the second one, you're probably going to love it at least as much. The effects are you know, bigger, and most of the time they look quite good. The, the humor is, again, quite silly, although there is, again, some cleverness. Overacting is again a staple. It's still very, very 80s. Even when they go to 2015, they find a way to make it 80s. Yeah. Lloyd mugs the crap out of his role, and, you know, Fox is both annoying and you know, charming and fun. It's just a fun, you know, can't quite call it a high school comedy like the first one, because it isn't, but it's still very much the same tone. And, you know, if you really like the first one, you gotta watch the second one. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.